Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a very special program entitled Music and the Bible featuring various instruments as mentioned in the Bible. We begin with the king of instruments, the organ, which combines all other instruments together into one. In Psalm 150 we are told, Praise ye the Lord, praise Him in His sanctuary, praise Him with the organ. One of the instruments most often mentioned in the Bible is the harp. We are told in Isaiah 5.12 that along with the vial, the tabret, and the pipe, the harp was used in the feast of the people. And yet, it was also an instrument of mourning, of consolation, and also of healing.
The instrument, the trumpet, is used all throughout the Bible. It is an instrument of praise, of joy, of gladness, and of heralding good news. In Psalm 47, we read, God is gone up with a shout. The Lord, with the sound of the trumpet, sing praises, sing praises. Sing praises unto our Lord. Sing praises. Singing is mentioned often in the Bible, for not only people sing, but also nature and God's creation. In Isaiah 55, we are told that if we come to the Lord and seek Him, that we shall go out with joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands.
In the book of Psalms, there are numerous indications that when the people were singing, they would often stop and the instruments would render an interlude. These interludes, as in the case of Psalm 1914, were to be played in a mode to promote devout meditation. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer.
Often in the Bible, all instruments were combined together in praise to God. In Psalm 81, 1, we read, Sing aloud unto God our strength. Take a song and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp. Blow up the trumpet on our solemn feast day.
Today on The Joy of Music, we have brought you a program entitled Music and the Bible, featuring the various instruments as mentioned in the Bible. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the music today. And we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.